Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel Academy. In this tutorial, I am just going to explain on how you can label the lymph node. You need to understand that the lymph node is one of the major organs of the lymphatic system. And when you talk of the lymph nodes, its major purpose is just to filter the lymph. Let's quickly get started and look at the diagram about the lymph node. So if you look at A, A is a blood vessel which is taking the what the, the lymph away from the what from the lymph node. And in this case, you can simply look at the what at the at the valves which can be observed that one there that one there that one there that one there so in this case this is just a blood vessel which is known as the efferent uh, lymphatic and this um, this efferent lymphatic like i've said it is taking the lymph away from the what from the lymph node and this normally the efferent lymphatic it attaches itself at the place called the hyaline which has been marked by B. Then if you look at C, this is the inside of the lymphatic system. And this part is known as the what? The mandula. And this part which has been marked by C is just the mandula code. Let's quickly look at D. So if you look at D, D is simply the what? The germinal center. One of the characteristics of the lymphatic node is that it contains the germinal center. Then if you look at E, which are these blood vessels. So if you look at these blood vessels, it's, a vessel, it's the blood vessel which is taking the lymph away from the, what? The, the lymph node. And then when you look at these blood vessels, they are simply taking the, what? the lymph toward the, what? the lymphatic vessel. And this is simply the what? This is simply the afferent lymphatic. So the best way which can help you to know which one is the afferent and which one is the efferent is to check up the direction of the of the what of the valve. So if you look at these valves where they are pointing, and also these valves where they are pointing is totally different. So this is just the what the afferent lymphatic vessel, and then that one is just a. Uh, the efferent lymphatic vessel you need to understand that the lymph node is the only lymphatic organs which has both the afferent and the efferent so let's quickly look at f which is the outer layer which is known as the capsule and it's part of the cortex then we have g which is just the medulla sinuses so guys make sure that you are able to draw this diagram and you're also able to to label Let's quickly go to this diagram, which is very important. So if you look at A, A is simply the primary lymphatic follicles. And this primary lymphoid, lymphoid follicle, it normally consists a lot of B cells. And if you look at the B cells, B cells can either differentiate into, into the memory cells or the plasma cells. Then if you look at B, B it is just the paracortical area which mostly contain the T cells. Let's quickly look at C which is just the medulla cord and the medulla, medulla cord normally consists the macrophages and the plasma cells. So we need to understand that the plasma cells are coming all the way from the B lymphocyte and the macrophages are originating from the what? Um, from the from the monocyte then you look at uh, d which is the the medulla sinus e is the efferent lymphatic vessels taking the taking the words taking the the lymph away from the lymph node then you have f which is just some blood vessels then g is the corticosinus and then you have um H, which is the afferent lymphatic vessel. Then I is germinal center, which is a very important component of the lymph node. Then you have J, which is the marginal sinus, and K finally, it is the secondary lymphoid follicle, which is normally 
within the words the germinal center so please make sure that you are able to label this diagram and make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel let me quickly look at uh, let me quickly look at the last diagram which is a drawing so make sure that you are able to draw this diagram and when you are asked to draw the lymph node i would advise you to draw this diagram it is simple and it does a lot of details okay let me quickly look at the first one which is a a is just the medulla sinus b is just the pass pass cortex then when you took when you look at c c is just the efferent lymphatic vessels on the hilum which is just simply taking the blood the the lymph away from the lymph node then e um then d d is just the the cortex capsule and then e is just the medulla cord f should be the medulla trabecula yeah f is just the medulla trabecula let's quickly look at g g is just the lymphatic nodules in the uh, nodular cortex so uh, when you talk of uh, g g was just the lymphatic nodules in the uh, in the words in the nodular context then h h seems to be the trabecular once again then i it has to be the the subcapsular sinus and then we have j finally which is the paratrabecular cortical sinuses so please make sure that you know how to label the lymph node and make sure that you are able to label so guys this was dr possibility from excel academy thank you very much for joining me please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that you register with excel academy